everyone, so today I am filming what is in my April, April, April Birch Box. Um, now some of you might know what Birch Box is, but when I talk to a lot of my friends and family, they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So this is kind of a video to explain what monthly subscription boxes are, and also just a little reveal of if you want to know what I've got in my Birch Box this month. So it comes just in a little box just like this. Um, I have these delivered to my boyfriend's work, which I'm sure he absolutely loves. And then inside there is a little box that looks just like this. And um, when you open that up, there is a little bag inside, with a little drawstring bag like this. These little bags actually come in really handy for um, transporting little bits of makeup and stuff around. And inside that, you will normally have a couple of little cards. Um, the one that I tend to pay most attention to is this one here, which is explains what's in your birch box that month. So, birch box is a monthly subscription box which uh, costs ten pound plus two pound ninety five for the delivery fee. And inside that box, you will get a random mixture every month of five beauty samples. And in the case of birch box, you get um, one sometimes. Uh, just random sample as well. Normally it's food, which is always a bonus. There is also other boxes. Um, for example, before this one, I was subscribed to Glossy Box, but I wasn't feeling their products quite so much, so I changed over to Birch Box. They are both very similar. Um, you do just get either, sometimes you get quite small samples, sometimes you get fairly big samples. Um, but in this little... Um, with this card that comes just inside it, it gives you a rundown of the products and also how much the full size ones are so you can decide, wh decide whether you would want to buy them full price or not. So I'm going to show you what I've got inside mine. They do tend to vary from people's boxes. There's generally, I think, around eight different products. So bearing in mind that you get five, some people will get different things. So, I'm just going to take them out at random, what I got. So, I did notice well, as soon as I opened this box this month that it smelled very like coconutty and very summery. So, that instantly made me in a good mood. And then I saw this and it made me in an even better mood. And the first thing is this proper corn and um, sweet coconut and vanilla popcorn. How good does that smell? How good does that smell? How good does that sound? I'm going to have one of these now. Why not? They smell so good, and they're only apparently under 40 calories, so bonus. And it says that they're 90 pence to buy. I think it must be that size bag that you get, I would imagine. They're really nice, but they don't really say they taste all that much of what it says. Anyway, moving on. The next thing that I saw, now with your, how I said about you get five samples, you never know what you're going to get, but this month you had the bonus of, um, I had an email maybe two weeks ago saying that there was going to be a nail polish sample inside and that there was four colours and that it was kind of a first come first serve basis that you could choose which colour you wanted. So I chose this one, which is the shade, <laughs> I can't say this one, Heirloom Pearls, Heirloom 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 pearls and it's kind of like a white but it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it the other colors that you could choose from was either like a pale min a pale pink and a pale blue i believe um but you know me i'm a fan of um white nail polish so i'm going to try this one out very soon and you know I, I knew what i was getting with that one so i was happy to get that one inside there this month the next thing that i got was this uh ying yin yang natural natural moisturizer um it says light day long protection witch hazel to smooth fine lines suitable for dry to normal skin types i'm not really one to change up my moisturizers all that much because i worry about having a reaction to it but as soon as i saw that it has witch hazel in it that instantly makes me think oh antibacterial that would probably be quite good so i'm excited to try that one the next thing I saw is this from RMK and it's a makeup base. Um, now it doesn't really have much on the actual product but inside on the sheet of paper it says um, a lightweight lotion to smooth and hydrate the skin and make foundation last. So I'm excited to try that one because I can imagine that it's probably going to be quite lightweight. It has a really nice smell as well. Again, it's more, I don't know if these things all smell of coconut because of that 
popcorn or if they do actually just smell of coconut anyway I don't know the next thing after that this I was like what the heck is that but then I saw in the teeny tiny little corner it's from the Balm, which is an American company I believe you can't really get their items in stores I think they just sell them on Feel Unique at the moment and I had been debating getting one of their palettes over the Too Faced palette but chose on the Too Faced one in the end obviously um, but it says um, I absolutely love the packaging of this I would zoom in so you can see I don't know if you can see it properly. I know that my camera won't focus. Um, but the, the packaging is so cute. It's really like retro and pin-up. And it says, how about them apples? A cheek and lip cream. And inside, it's got this gorgeous colour here. Inside the little apple. It's very creamy. And it's actually really pigmented. I'm not sure whether I would try it on my cheeks or not. But definitely on my lips. It's a great one for keeping um, just in your handbag. And with this one, it says um, an easy to blend cream that offers a gorgeous long lasting pop of colour to cheeks and lips. Dab onto the apples of cheeks and lips with fingertips. And at the top of that, it says that it's £26 for a palette. So I think on the inside of this, where it shows these colours here, that's what you get in the palette. So yeah, I'm excited to try that one too. And then the last thing, which I think is just awesome is a pretty decent sized um sample of this laura mercier body and bath um almond coconut milk this smells absolutely beautiful this does smell like almonds and i'm so excited to try it i'm gonna try a bit on my hand just now a bit of cup oh no no huh yeah i'm gonna try it on my hands of course no it's sealed i need to take the seal off first See, so I, I, I was smelling that through a seal and it still smelled like almond. Ooh, feels quite thin, but that'd be good because it'll mean they won't be really sticky. Mmm, that feels lovely. So, all in all, I would probably say that this is probably my favourite birch box so far. Um, the thing that I like about this is, yeah, I buy a lot of beauty products, but it's quite nice to get things that you're not expecting, and it's just such a nice surprise that once a month. So, I absolutely love them. So, why don't you try them out if you've never um, heard of them before, or if you're thinking about signing up to birch box, I would definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you did please do subscribe because I at the moment I've got videos going up every Wednesday and every Sunday and I'm sure I'll see you all again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!